What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know it's been a little bit since I posted the channel. I've been super busy, but I have been able to play a little bit of Goar Krovi, so I wanted to give a first impressions video of the map. Now, let me start off by saying I like the map. I think it's a really good map. It's difficult. Uh, I play solo 99% of the time, so it is a difficult map. I've had a hard time finding really good training spots except for one, so I'll make a video on that. I haven't seen any videos on training spots on this map, which is kind of weird. So hopefully that'll help you out. I'll, I'll put that out maybe later today or tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Uh, but let me just go over a few things on this map. So obviously the first thing everyone was excited about is the PPSH, which is actually a really good weapon. It's really good for points and is really powerful, honestly, especially when you pack a punch it. A lot of recoil, but it's definitely a really fun gun to use. And it's just such a, gives you such a nostalgic feeling, you know, if you played the old Call of Duty. So definitely excited about that. The Ray Gun Mark III is really good. So usually the past, you know, DLC and, and original map, the, the Ray Gun was not good. I mean, it, it wasn't, it didn't help you very much. This, on the other hand, is absolutely amazing. It kind of is a mini Apothecan Servant. So if you guys haven't played the map yet, Basically, you have the ray gun on your right hand and you're dual wielding on your left hand some sort of weapon that uh, slows the zombies down. So you press L2 and it'll slow the zombies down. But then if you shoot that like little yellow circle with your ray gun, it creates a mini black hole, like a mini Apothecan Servant. So the Ray Gun Mark III did not disappoint. Now there was no new perk, which is kind of disappointing. I'd be really surprised if there wasn't a new perk in DLC 4, but there were a few other new things, one being the special weapon. So um, it, it's a little bit of a process to get, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult to, to obtain, and it's super good. Now, I won't say it's the best special weapon in Black Ops 3 because um, the Skull and Nansapwe was really really good on Zetsubu but it's right up there with it so first off you get a, a, a little dragon on your wrist uh, that acts like a flamethrower it's absolutely insane and very effective but you can also hit L2 and the dragon flies off your arm and goes around kind of like the sword in shadows and you can also do the super punch and it just insta kills zombies it's a super 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 um, effective special weapon now there's also some gobble gums the shopping free is an awesome awesome gobble gum if you guys haven't seen this yet I only got it once but basically everything on the map is free when you activate this gobble gum so you can open up doors get weapons get you know perks everything is free so it's a really 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 effective gobble gum now when it comes to depth on this map they definitely didn't disappoint I know a lot of people don't like how in-depth zombies is nowadays but I, I appreciate it. There's always something to do. There's Groff modules, getting the special weapon. I haven't even attempted the Easter egg because it looks very difficult. But they even have different uh, items that you can equip on your body, like helmets and wings that you can uh, fly to the Pack-a-Punch area for free and without riding the dragon. Just all kinds of stuff. I'll probably get into some of that later, but I really, really like the depth on this map. Well that about does it for my first impressions video, but I do want to mention that the map is really beautiful. I love seeing the dragons fly over. Everything looks really, really good. I think they did an excellent job on this map. It's huge. It's really big. It's going to take you a while to get used to where everything is located, but once you do, I think you'll really start to enjoy this map. And I also wanted to mention, I like I said, I didn't do the easter egg, but I've seen the ending cutscene, and it's amazing. If you're into zombie stories, Things are really getting serious here, and, and I'm super excited about it. It actually said to be concluded at the end, so DLC 4, this is the end for our characters. Um, it's kind of bittersweet. I'm super excited to see what happens. If you're into story, I'm sure you guys are too. But I hope you guys have a great day. Like I said, I'll make a couple more videos, one about the training spot, and one about the wings, because there's a little bit of confusion about that. So I'll make those two videos, and if you don't like zombies, I definitely have a multiplayer video coming out really soon. So you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later.